signs of victory and congratulations for tennis pro Andy Murray in his hometown. The British champion of the U.S. Open has made Dunblane, Scotland proud. Um, totally emotional, fantastic, brilliant, knew he could do it and just great. I was so nerve-wracking. Uh, it's fantastic. I'm absolutely I'm so overcome with emotion. <laughs> After 76 years of waiting, a British male has finally become a Grand Slam tennis champion. We always think that we know better than him from, you know, from the armchair. We definitely know better than him and half the shots that he played were wrong shots. But of course, in the end, he showed us that he really does know what he's doing. Because <laughs> one. Mm -hmm. After losing in four previous Grand Slam finals, Murray outlasted defending champion Novak Djokovic for nearly five hours. Murray is the first British man to win the contest since 1936. He's also the first man to win the U.S. Open and an Olympic gold medal in the same year. Everybody's absolutely overjoyed. From the crowd at the Dunblane Hotel to the relatives at Murray's grandparents' home, the victory is being celebrated all over town and the U.K. But he stuck to his guns and he kept the ball moving and kept Djokovic moving, which I think was the thing to do, and it gradually wore him down in the, in the fifth set, and just amazing. Thrilled. Fittingly, Murray's breakthrough came in a year when Britain has enjoyed its greatest sports summer of a generation. The first British rider to ever win the Tour de France, the London Olympics gave Britain its best medal showing in 104 years, with 29 gold medals and 65 overall. And now Murray's win. The sporting wins just happened to coincide with the national celebration of Queen Elizabeth II's Diamond Jubilee. She's spent 60 years on the throne. Nia Hawkins, Associated Press.